Well, the last time we had a truck of that size out here, I was getting an entire pallet of parts for the M5. No, it's not mine. I don't know whose that is. I think he's getting something next door. But we have smart car tires. They are one inch wide in the front. Look at that. They weigh like three pounds a piece. So we got those. And then in the back, we got the rears. They're 175, 55 R15s for the rears. And the fronts are a whopping one, 155. Right, let's make sure 15560 R15s. That's the only body damage on this car, too, and that'll come out with CPC. Damn. All right, well, I'm going to go drop this puppy off, have some tires mounted in balance, then get an alignment. Update time. I got the smart car back. They got the tires on, they did the alignment, all of that came out well drives a little better the other tires were worn so there's more material on these uh, it's a little smoother and the alignment made a little bit of a difference i guess not huge um stopped into Laric motorsport got the update from the guy building the engine um kind of changed gears a little bit somewhat pun intended uh with the uh, order of operations on all of this initially the plan was to get the engine built put the engine in and then do the little stuff the subframe bushings um, the differential swap, the brake lines, all of that stuff in the back. Then he gets to thinking, well, if we do that, now we've got a new engine in the car, we're starting it to turn the car around. He wants to focus the attention on the engine when the engine's done, so that will be last. Uh, the heads are still shrink-wrapped, the block is covered in, um, in, a, in a trash bag to keep critters and shit out of it or whatever. So they have the piston for cylinder six. They're ready to put that together. He's just saying it's like a day or two um, when they're ready to put the engine back together and then that'll be ready to go in. In the meantime, he's got the subframe out, the differential off the subframe, the axles are out, the H-arms are dropped down. Um, really, he's ready to put all of that back together with the new parts. He said all of that really could be done tomorrow or Thursday. We're just waiting on the parts. I need to get the upper control arms from ECS. I'm also leaning towards replacing the uh, wheel bearings in the back because they're right there. It would take 10 minutes to do them with the axles out of there. They're pretty, pretty rusty. They're, really, the original diff was covered in rust, but he's saying like they're a half inch thick cast iron. Nothing's gonna hurt that, but I'm not putting that back in anyways. Um, I didn't take video. I have pictures. I can show you pictures on iPhoto tonight. Anything that's terribly rusty will be replaced. Um, the hard brake lines with that Porsche, Audi, nickel, copper alloy, those are already done. He's already got the new lines on there and he's already got one of the new parking brake cables in. So they've gotten a lot of work done. He's ready to cut the old control arms off the subframe, put the new control arms on, the new differential, the new differential bushings, the new axles, the new wheel bearings. And um, then he's gonna put that back together, put the drive shaft back in, brakes will be done. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything big, but I'm, I'm happy to see the progress. So the engine work will probably resume maybe next week. Um, get that, get the build done on that, and uh, then pull the other one out, drop the new one in. Good morning, it's two o'clock. I uh, spent, actually spent some time on the clock today. I headed over to Walmart and I bought this cheap food scale that uh, just measures you know, grams fairly accurately. And uh, the weights were totally screwed up. We need 6.6 .6 pounds on the right for the Westminster Chimes, 4.7 pounds in the middle for the Pendulum, and 4.7 pounds on the left for the Hour Gongs. So I had to adjust all of that, move some lead beads between the weight canisters, and I got everything adjusted right. And it's still coming too quickly in with the Hour Gongs in comparison to the Westminster Chimes. So I don't know why I've done everything I can do. I guess at this point, I'm just gonna let it go. And uh, the next time that thing's oiled in a couple of years uh, for general maintenance on the movement, I'll have the guy look at it. There's gotta be an adjustment for it somewhere that I just don't know about. So I am totally exhausted. It's two o'clock in the morning. I am gonna head to bed. Stopped in Alaric Motorsport today. Um, I already gave you the update on that. 
went to class, that was painful. I gave my quick presentation, that went fine. Then I just sat there for two hours as he rambled on about sustainability and the strategy of market development. So I'm gonna go sleep. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna head back into Larrick, I think, and um, talk to him about welding a TIG welding, a piece of aluminum reinforcement on the front differential mount. Everybody on the forums seems to think that I would be crazy not to do it, so I'm gonna see if, if Larrick Motorsport can do it. Um, so that's really my only thing on the docket tomorrow. I might try to get that old Mac, or the uh, new Mac that I bought in replacement for mine, but mine's back so I can return that one tomorrow as well. But I'm going to go sleep. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on, uh, on Wednesday. Good night.